Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lecture. So now we will try to understand the types of structural steels. So first one, what we have is a hot rolled section. So in the hot rolled section, we have like I section, C section, L section, angle section. Okay. So you can see this. So it's a I section what I have. Okay. Then we call this as a channel section. Hmm. Then we have angle section. So where is the angle section? Yeah, you can uh, later I'll show you angle section also. So this is angle section what we have. So all these things will come under the hot roll section. After that, we have a uh, extruded sections like hollow section. So you can see this uh, hollow sections, right? Hollow section in that in that we have square section. We have rectangular section. We have a circular section. So you can see all these are your hollow section. So this is square in shape. So it's a square section. So this is a rectangular section. This is circular section. So we call this as an extruded section. Next, we have cold form. So cold form is especially the purlins, whatever you're putting, right? Uh, on the text sheets and all, all those are cold form section. So you can see here, this is a text sheet what we have. So all these are your cold form section. Hmm? In the same way, this is your purlins. So in the purlins, we have a C type purlin. So it's a C type purlin. And this is a Z type purlin. So all these are made from the cold form section. Apart from that, next we have built up section. So built up section means like we have a plate. So all the plates are welded and <coughs> yeah, all these are uh, built up section where the plates are welded. Hmm? Like you'll be having two, three plates. You just weld it to make eye section. That is how uh, it's called as a built up section. Now, what are the grades of steel that we're going to use to make all this type of sections like uh, hot roll sections we have, eye sections we have. So basically what happens is if we, if I, 250 is one grade what we have, then we have 310 grade also, 355 grade also is available. All this is the hot rolled section. And this 250 is your mild steel, 250, 310 and 355. All these are the yield stress of that particular material. And especially when you're putting a PV structure, pre-engineered building, there the grade of the steel will be 350 and 410 Newton per mm square. These are the two grade which you use in the PV structure. So now you can see how these things are practically done. Again, see, all these are the plate sections what we have. This is one plate. This is another plate. This is another plate. So you take all these plates uh, in the fabrication yard or in the factory, and then you're going to do the welding of this. So this becomes your built up section. In the same way here also, you see, we have taken all these uh, uh, sections here, and all the sections has been um, connected with the help of uh, this thing, bolt. So this is another section what we have. In the same way, you can see it's a big machine what we have in a fabrication factory. Again, you can see all this welding will be done. So this is how the sections are prepared. In the same way, this already we had seen, like this is a blaze, this is a base plate what we have. And then this is a web section what we have. This is a flange section what we have. Again, everything will be welded. And this is how the uh, columns are prepared. Now, if you see this entire uh, factory here, so it's a pre-engineered building, PB structure. So what happens is you'll be having anchor bolts here, pedestal and anchor bolt. This will be a column section. All these are your PB structures. Then this this one you can see, you know, this one, this one. This is called as purlin. The same thing you can see it here, purlin. These are cold form sections. Apart from that, on the top, you'll be having a roof. That is, sheetings will be done. Then we'll be putting up the cross bracings also. So in this way, all the different sections will be manufactured in the factory. And that is how it is assembled. Yeah. Next, we'll try to see what about the hot roll section. In the hot roll section, again, we have different uh, this thing. So in the hot roll, we have first is angle section. So in the angle section, we have equal angle section and unequal angle section. Uh, in the this thing, that Maruti Suzuki showroom, when we were constructing the ramp, we had put that angle section, right? So this is that angle section. So in the angle section, we have two things. One is equal angle and unequal angle. If this height and if this width is same, then we call this as an equal angle section. If any of this doesn't match, if this is on a higher side and this, this is a lower side, we call this as an unequal angle, okay? Yeah, so what are the standards that is available in the market? So ISA stand for, IS stand for Indian standard, A stand for angle. So ISA 75 by 75 by six. So this height will be 75, this will be 75 and the thickness of both the plate will be 6 mm. Next, we have ISA 25 by 25 by 3 mm. 
and also ISA 25 by 25 by 4 mm is also available. Yeah, then next we have ISA 35 by 35 by 3 mm and also we have 35 by 35 by 4 mm. Then we have Indian standard 50 by 50 by 6. It's the most used section, 50 by 50 by 6. Then we have 65 by 65 by 6 section also. We have 75 by 75 by 6. All the three are mostly used in most of the construction. Apart from that, we have a 75 by 75 by 8 also. Along with the 6 mm thick, we have 8 mm thickness also. Apart from that, we have 90 by 90 by 8, 110 by 110 by 8, and 120 by 120 by 10. So these are, the, these are some heavy sections. So wherever uh, the load is more, wherever we require a bigger section, we can go with this kind of sections. Understood, no? So just try to understand in the hot roll, we have angle section. In the angle section, we require uh, equal angle and unequal angle. For the equal angle, the normal uh, section what we use is Indian standard angle ISA 50 by 50 by 6. Then you can go for 65 by 65 by 6. Then we have 75 by 75 by 6. Then even 75 by 75 by 8 is also available. To be on the high, if you want on a higher side, you can go with 110 and 120. This is 8 and 10 mm. So this way different sections are available. Whichever you feel it's correct, you can, of course, these things will be given by the structural consultant, but you should have an idea like what are the standard sections that is available. Got it? So this was all about the hot roll section. So in the next lecture, I'll uh, explain you about the channel section. Again, under the hot roll, we have this uh, channel section also. We'll try to see about channel section and then we'll try to see other sections. So I'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.